Airwolf 3D is, specializes in many materials in our printers, and so we're showing off a, a new fashion uh, line pretty much. Uh, we have our model wearing a full 3D printed dress, all of her jewelry, um, all of her accessories, all the way down to her shoes. Um, and it's not just printed on a very expensive professional printer, it's printed on a desktop 3D printer. Um, that's under $5,000, so that's, that's uh, our big thing. We also have a new uh, product called the HDR, which is a multi-material printer, which um, is also under $5,000. That's fully cloud-based, um, very easy to print with, very fine resolutions, and very big print volume. So that's, we call that the kind of the prosumer market. Um, we, we sell to a lot of aerospace and education companies that, that uh, want to get these things on the desk of their engineers, um, the desk of their students. So we offer an affordable um, option to the more you know, commercial printers, but you know, offer the same type of technology. Obviously the PLA and the ABS is, is the big 3D printing uh, uh, you know, material to be using. We kind of want to go for the higher uh, temperature materials. Stuff that you can actually use, not just look at. So we're printing with polycarbonate, um, you know, glass-filled nylons and, and PC ABS and, and things that you can actually put in something and actually use and, and test it and have it function. We have a new application, uh, it's actually with a company called IGUS that makes a new bearing um, where we're actually printing this material and we're printing it with our dual head printer. So we're making an all-in-one component on one print job with a bearing actually embedded inside the, the actually, sorry, printed inside of our parts. So there's no more assembly for many of these uh, you know, moving parts on our printers. We're actually going to be printing them with the bearing printed also. So a really big breakthrough. Um, another thing we're doing is actually printing support material that dissolves on nylon, which um, in, I don't think has been done before. I haven't seen it yet, but you know, a very high temperature nylon material with a very low temperature dissolving material, and we're able to get really big nylon complex prints out of it. When people are looking to, to use something this strong, they, you know, they always find us. And the polycarbonate is the, is the first major breakthrough that we made. And we're not just printing very small parts with the polycarb, but we're printing very large, um, you know, over 100 hours sometimes on some of these big polycarb prints. So materials are, are our big thing, and, and the high temperature stuff is, is really where we're going. And we, you know, we want to continue to push the temperature limits throughout this next year. Other applications, I mean, we, we're getting a lot of prop makers all the way to um, airplane designers. The drone industry is very big right now, obviously, so that's a big market for us. Um, but everything from uh, you know, prop designers, jewelry designers, um, you know, bicycle um, industry, there's a lot of, lot of applications for this. This year, we're now, we've just counted about 31 materials that we're printing with, and that's just stuff that we've tried. So there's probably a lot more out there that we haven't tried yet. So I'm guessing maybe roughly around 40 materials that we can actually print with, with the same hardware. We're not gonna say metals, um, you know, we're not going that high, but we wanna get into the very high temp um, plastics. A lot of proprietary plastics that we're trying to develop also. Um, and, and, you know, the Altum, the, uh, the Delrin, and the things that, that really will really push the bounds of engineering. You know, we really see the desktop printers coming down in price, where we're kind of staying at the same place just because of, of the quality and the durability of our machines and what they can do. So we, we don't want to challenge that market, we want to be in our own market, and we've really kind of carved out our niche in the industry there.